It's the one year anniversary of an irrigation agreement designed to save Idaho farms from drying up. I'm your neighborhood reporter, Lorian Nettleton, outside Minidoka to visit one of the many projects aimed at increasing water efficiency to conserve the crucial water resources that so much Idaho agriculture depends on. In Minidoka County, farmers depend on a reliable supply of both surface water, the canal water that comes from rivers and reservoirs, and groundwater, which is pumped from wells in the aquifer to grow a little bit of everything. The main crop rotation out here is uh, probably potatoes, sugar beets, wheat, barley, corn, and hay. Dean Singleton and Ryan Miller farm near Minidoka and serve on the Magic Valley Groundwater District. They showed me where a $34 million pipeline will soon carry canal water to this area, a project designed to reduce the region's reliance on wells. This area out here is all groundwater, all well water. So we're going to take water from a, in a pipeline from surface water out here and do what they call soft conversion. And that means that we're gonna take the water and uh, shut off the wells and use surface water out here. The Magic Valley Groundwater District covers parts of Blaine, Kaja, Jerome, and Minidoka counties. Miller says they've spent years trying to cut water use while keeping production strong. As a district, we've been very diligent in doing water reduction. And so we've planted crop rotations that we could reduce our water use, but at the same time, keep production going. Last November, groundwater and surface water users reached a new agreement, a deal brokered with the help from the governor and lieutenant governor to reduce pumping and increase efficiency across the region. We went through and kind of renegotiated those and fixed some of the flaws, and I think we have an agreement that's probably a little more useful. This pipeline is one of many new projects to come out of that agreement. The Magic Valley Groundwater District is partnering with the Minidoka Irrigation District to bring surface water from canals to farms so they can turn off their wells for much of the year. You know, between 12 and 15,000 acre feet of water that we're going to be able to not pump out of the ground and leave it in the aquifer to help stabilize the aquifer. The goal, to keep the Eastern Snake Plain aquifer healthy, to help keep farms in production and prevent future water cutbacks across the Magic Valley. For more information about projects to increase efficiency and save water, head to this story on our website, IdahoNews6.com. Outside Minidoka, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Lori and Nettleton, Idaho News 6.